And hello. Iron Rock Off Road got me my package in two days. Should I say FedEx is quick? Iron Rock Off Road, uh, great to deal with. Great people to talk to. Always take your problems and solve them. But they sent it right away. It's Friday today. Friday's Friday. Friday. So I got my screwdriver here because I don't have a knife. And there's a, there's a few of these um, staples here. I just gotta get underneath and bring them up or just rip them right out. And, I don't know. Probably just rip them out. It's easier. But here's the unboxing. Damn, damn. These are the staples I'm talking about. Pretty heavy duty. I like these staples because when you rip them out, that's sort of a hook. You can just take a screwdriver right there and pry it right out. Oh, there's another staple. You bastard. I'm going to rummage through this shit. Got stickers. I already got these on my Jeep, so uh, I don't know if I'll put those on or not. Oops. Instructions. Let's see how detailed these are. Find and inspect axle. Mm -hmm. Prepare it. Cut off any brackets attached to the tubes. Plasma cutter, torch, or grinder with wheel. Be used. Careful not to cut the axle tubes. Obviously. There's a nice, this nice picture there. Let's see, it's on page two. Weld tubes to housing. They tell you to weld the tubes to the housing. It's called stitch welding, I think, is what it's, what it is. This is stuff I can't really do on the video. Maybe later when I'm welding them on. Get a closer look at that. Nicely made. I don't even know what this is. It's not, it's not high quality shrink wrap. It's heavy duty shrink wrap. There you go. Shit all over this place. Well, the unboxing took a little bit, didn't it? 15 minutes unedited. But I figured out what everything is. These are the lower control arm mounts. They go onto the axle like so, at a uh, 16 degree angle, measured from the top. These are the bolts uh, I'm going to be placing with grade 8 bolts. Not necessary, really, but I'm going to do it. These two here, this one and this one, are upper control arm mounts. I'm still not too sure what these two giant holes are for on this side, but I don't know, maybe just, I have no idea. This here is for the track bar. It just gets welded to this. I have it just propped up right now. You can see. Uh, you just, uh, this gets raised, obviously, a little bit. Put a nice weld in there. And these are the adjustable holes for the track bar. Uh, I asked the guy, uh, Josh, I think, or was it Zach, I'm not sure, or Kristen from Iron Rock Off-Road, uh, what it means by adjustable holes. And if you put the drag bar either in the top one or bottom one, it compensates for up to three and a half inches of lift. And that way it will move your tires back to the center of the vehicle. Because without that, or an adjustable track bar, uh, your tires, or your entire axle will move to the left slightly. These are the spring perches or brackets or pads or whatever you want to call them. Uh, if you pay an extra $7.99 you can get these other two holes drilled. I think it's a little bit excessive for money but uh, to get four extra holes drilled on the left and right or adjustable spring pads. You weld these on the axle uh, at a seven degree angle measured from the top again. Uh, sorry I forgot to tell these what angle they are exactly vertical. So back to this. Um, these here, they are for the sway bar links. And you can see the angle here. They just get welded exactly flush, like that. Or wherever exactly flush is. Can't see the bottom. These over here are the shock mounts. They get welded to the axle, like so, uh, at a uh, 40 degree angle, measured from the back. This over here is the um, for the drive shaft or for the pinion, drive shaft, pinion, whatever. Both same. 
It is the uh, flange adapter. These four here bolt on to the pinion. And then this part will be for the drive shaft, this yoke. Stickers. These are the spring pads. Square holes, I don't know why. These, I'm not sure how these work. Somehow they retain the spring, maybe. These are the bolts for flange adapter and another sticker. So there you have it. All good. Also, my pinion, my drive shaft, it should be coming in straight, but because I have a three and a half inch lift kit uh, with a six degree, uh, what is that, uh, six degree angle, which is OEM, my drive shaft comes in at this kind of an angle. Just a slight one, but it's an angle. And when I get a taller lift kit, probably about a six and a half or seven inch lift kit, because this will be an off road vehicle, it's going to be much higher. So, I want to adjust this pinion, which is very simple. You don't have to adjust these ones. Uh, I have to adjust it up so my drive shaft will be will be straight again with the pinion. So it's better in the future. And you can see these instructions give you detailed uh, angles. You just have to make sure you get the angle right or nothing will bolt up. Then you have to cut it off and do it again. Right here. It's this piece I was talking about right there. This is for the track bar, upper control arm. This is the left side. Shock mount. Spring perch is right here. Uh, lower, lower control arm mount, upper mount, spring perch. It's pretty simple. This tells you the uh, dimensions. The left side shock mount comes in a bit to clear the caliper under flex apparently so that's fine and if you didn't know already if you can't tell by this up here it, the the actual housing is not centered in the axle it is to the right slightly right or left depending how you look at it but anyway that's that until further news I shall talk to you later